Alright, basically I'm going to tell you how to get your offer working because people, you know, say to go to this side, go to that side, blah blah blah, and sometimes it doesn't work, you still get the loading thing, no matter what you do. Alright, basically what you have to do is when you get your um, flash drive adapter and your SD card, you go um, you go to your my, well, my computer, here I'll go mm -hmm. to my desktop thing to show you this. Alright, go to my computer. Alright, when you um get the when you put it in and um you just say removable disk, whatever, you just basically when you put it in have the card in, there's a you think format I don't have the card in right now and I have my DS running so I don't wanna mess with it. Alright, and you go to format and uh it'll say fat. You just click the down arrow, go to fat thirty two, click OK, it'll format it. And then what you do from there is you go and when you get your R4, it comes in this box. Um, there's a link on the box that tells you where to go to get the kernel you need. Not all kernels for each one works with the same R4. That's why they have this site right here on the bottom of the box. You just go to that site. It'll tell you which the, you know the updated kernel will be on there. You just go and grab the kernel from there. It's simple. There's nothing else you need to do besides that. And once you do that, there's also um, you also need to make a game folder on your root directory and um, your SD card thing. And then um, you basically get an NDS file, which is basically a ROM where you can find somewhere on Google or some site that you already know. Put that in there, and then you just take it out, put it in your R4, and just run it. It should work, because right now mine is working. I have Pokemon Platinum running on it. There's my R4 right there in the back. I had to remove the sticker to see if it was fake or not. But um, yeah, that's basically how you do it, and that is all. Take care and have fun. Enjoy your R4.